Well, my name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and I'm back on the Buzz UG to keep you posted on the biggest stories making headlines in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry. Uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, Uganda police has given us an update about the search for the victims of the boat accident on Lake Victoria that occurred last week. Well, police spokesperson Kampala Metropolitan Mr. Patrick Onyango said so far only five bodies, all of them female, have been recovered out of 20 people who were reported missing. <laughs> The recovered bodies have been transported to the city mortuary Mulago for post-mortem examinations. The operation is sister forces, Uganda police, to making sure that we have Onyanko added that the rescue teams are facing challenges on the lake but police marines and uh, the UPDF marines are still doing all they can to make sure that they locate the missing bodies. Now, Uganda police are searching for a man identified as Brian Tuhamire over the murder of Marcy Aturinda, 37 years, the sister to the senior superintendent of police, Michael Kasigire. The murder incident happened last week in Gayazo sub-county, Wakiso district. Aturinda was running a garage where the suspect was employed. Kasigire requested the public to report any information that could lead to the arrest of the suspect. May her soul rest in peace. Uh, the Forum for Democratic Change National Executive Committee members are demanding the resignation of Party President Patrick Oboy Amoriat, the Party Secretary General Horebo Nandela Mafabi, and uh, Party Chairman Ambassador Waswa Birigwa, accusing them of bringing disorder to the party and attempting to sell it to President Museveni in State House. Horrible Semuji Uganda, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, accused Nandela Mafabi of mobilizing goons to engage in what he described as sham elections. He has called for the suspension of electoral processes and requested party members to shun the elections. Uh, Joshua Wandegia, a teacher at White Rose Junior School in Ginger City, is in police custody after court red-handed defiling a six-year-old pupil. Chira police spokesperson James Moby has confirmed the teacher's arrest. The incident happened last week on Thursday and other reports have revealed that the suspect is related to the owner of the school. Legendary Ragadi has come out to send a strong warning to Alien Skin, the big man who is trending so big time in the entertainment industry. Uh, Ragadi said Alien Skin should be very careful. He has to know that the industry he's in is full of people who don't like each other. He added that the current generation runs on internet and any mistake can have you dragged back to nothing. He said he has seen musicians who were so loved some time back but right now nobody turns their head when they pass by. So Alien Skin has to be very careful. Well there you go, that is a Jaja Ragadi's warning to Alien Skin. Well, Uganda cranes forward Rogers Mato has made a move from the Uganda Premier League side KCCA FC to Turkish club San Luwafa Sport Kulubu. Hey, the name is very hard, but uh, that is uh, the club right there. And uh, he was unveiled on Friday. This new club currently competes in the second division. Uh, Rogers played for Lueza FC Junior Team, Maroons Junior Team, and uh, Proline FC Junior Team. Congratulations, and uh, we wish him all the best in Turkey. <music> Dr. Kiza Besige, the president of the Red Card Movement, has revealed that the opposition in Uganda right now have the capacity to overthrow President Museveni before Independence Day in October this year. Besige on BBS TV said 
President Museveni is at his weakest point because of the political, social and economic challenges he's facing right now. He added that Museveni and his government is facing bankruptcy and right now they don't have the money to spend like in the previous elections, especially in the elections that happened between 2001 and 2016. He called on the opposition to unite and have President Museveni out of office. Now, Mudra Diviro has exposed Karo Kasita's rotten behavior. He said Karo is a user who doesn't like paying for the work done for her as an artist. Mudra was Karo Kasita's official songwriter. All her hit songs were written by him, but surprisingly, none of them were paid for. Karo Kasita used to make expensive videos, but on paying me, that is where she drew the line. She even didn't pay for the song I wrote for her with Fig for Micah. Well, that is a statement coming in from Mudra Deviro. Uh, Karo Kasita is yet to respond to these allegations. Well, there you go. Those are some of uh, the biggest stories making headlines this Sunday morning. And uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And uh, I'll be back with another round of stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm using the same names right there. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.